How is this not headline news every day? I don't think you quite get it yet. For those who may not know, the Forensic Science Laboratory's electronic registry system, which manages evidence of DNA analysis for the South African Police Service, has been down for almost a year. I don't have time to go into all the details right now in this video, but if you look for these videos, you'll get the full story. Today, a memorandum was handed in at Parliament in Cape Town and a DA member was there to collect. You know who wasn't there? Journalists. Where are all the journos? It's all cool to virtue signal all you like in different articles and the hundred articles, as a matter of fact, that you've written about GBV. You agree with Cyril that GBV is a second pandemic, but when it comes to the real news, when it comes to real stories, you're nowhere to be seen. All those journalists that ever wrote anything about GBV should be ashamed. So where were you today? Where are you now? No, 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 let's talk about Megan, who gives a damn and her Harry Prince and the Oprah interview that for some reason has everyone baffled, right? Like that's really going to change the world. Speaking of Cyril, where is Cyril? Remember that time when there was this huge march to parliament, hundreds if not thousands of people gathered in front of parliament. Do you remember what he said? That the killing of women must be brought to an end. Men who kill women, men who do all these things that abuse women, do not belong in society. They belong behind bars. Yet he is letting all this happen right under his nose. Yeah, that's right. You read correctly. Eight million pieces of evidence were lost. And now they're back to the Stone Age where they're trying to track everything and log everything with pen and paper. There are so many stories of people affected by the system being off. Families that cannot bury their loved ones because the system is down. Sexual assault cases and murder cases that are still pending or in limbo because the process cannot continue. Not to mention, due to all this mess, a criminal lawyer can now, in court, claim contamination of evidence. Which means victims will never get justice. Wake up, South Africa. People are dying. And the ANC definitely has blood on their hands. This is all happening under their watch. And they're doing nothing. How many more people need to die? When will South Africans draw a line in the sand? When will you say enough is enough?